Okay, class, grab your notebook, grab your pencil, grab your Bible. It is time for your midweek Bible pop quiz. Now, I know it's a pop quiz, so you really should know that it's getting ready to happen in the middle of the week. You should know it's getting ready to happen on a Wednesday. But we're doing our very best to try to provide you a Bible pop quiz on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's that's the goal. That's what we're attempting to do. We will mix it up sometimes and throw in an extra one on a Tuesday or a Saturday yeah, or a Thursday. We'll, we'll throw in one or two here or there just out of the blue, just, you know, not, not expecting it to maintain the, the correct title for this podcast and this podcast series, which is the Bible Pop Quiz. But I hope you are ready. I hope you have, again, a notebook a pencil, and a Bible. We're really, 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 really trying to encourage people to have an actual physical notebook where you physically write the questions down, you physically write the answer down, you physically write down the reference, you look up everything in an actual physical Bible because the whole goal here is not just to say, oh, we had a little fun, we did a little pop quiz, but it's really to try to take the Word of God and place it inside of your mind, inside of you, so that you're learning it, you're retaining it, you're, you're being reminded of it, and and hopefully, therefore, it will be beneficial. We're, we still, I mean, this is, we're still at the very, the very beginning of this, po- uh, of this entire, you know, experiment, this entire idea of trying to create a podcast dedicated to Bible pop quizzes. We're still kind of, at the very beginning of this. So there has been some feedback on when to do the reviews. Like, all right, so the last Bible pop quiz, when do I review that one? Do I even do reviews? Now I'm doing reviews because I think it once again reinforces and reminds you what you've already covered. Hopefully that leads to retention, right? Repetition leads to retention. That's the concept. But there are times where I'm like, you know, what would, what would happen if I don't do any review and we just turn on the microphone and jump right in to the new quiz and never mention the old one? Well, there would be probably some benefits, but then we lose out the repetition retention concept. Uh, some have suggested taking the review for the last Bible pop quiz and putting it at the end of the new episode. So if for some reason you didn't hear the last Bible pop quiz and you tune in, well, you immediately get the new one and then you can tune out by the time I get to the end to review the last one. I, 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 I do understand that it feels odd to me. It feels odd like, how can I move on to the new one if we haven't reviewed the last one, right? It, it feels like we've got to review the last one before we move on to the new one. So it's more of a mental thing for me. But I may, I may try to do some episodes where we move the review of the last Bible pop quiz to after the new Bible pop quiz. <laughs> that, that just seems so out of order to me. But that's, but, uh, from, from the listener perspective, I can see how it could be beneficial. You tune in on a Wednesday, October the 4th, 2023, and you didn't listen to the last Bible pop quiz. So you don't want to listen to that review before you get to the new one. So that makes perfect sense. So we will see. But here's what we're going to do for today. All right. I I will do some tests and put the review at the end. We will do that. But what I'm going to do today, because the review for the last Bible pop quiz really is just reading portion of Hebrews chapter 8. Your last Bible pop quiz was all about Hebrews chapter 8. So I'm just going to read about five verses in Hebrews chapter 8, and everything we asked on the Bible pop quiz last time is found in the reading of these verses. I'm just going to, that's how I'm going to do this review is I'm just going to read five verses. And then if you did the review, if you did the pop, uh, pop quiz, then you're going to hear all of the answers right here. If you didn't, well, then you get to hear Hebrews chapter 8 verses 1 through 5. So that's, that's a benefit. That, that's a positive thing, right? So here we go. Hebrews chapter eight, verses one through five. All of your answers for the last Bible pop quiz was found in these five verses. Hebrews chapter eight, verse one. Now of the things which we have spoken, this is the sum. We have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty 
in the heavens, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle, which the Lord pitched and not man. For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices, wherefore it is of necessity that this man have somewhat also to offer. For if he were on earth, he should not be a priest, seeing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law, who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things, as Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle. For, see, saith he, that thou makest all things according to the pattern shewed to thee in the mount." That's Hebrews chapter 8, verses 1 through 5. I'm going to read it one more time. I'm going to read it slowly. Certain things I'm emphasizing are clearly answers to the last Bible pop quiz. But just listen carefully. Here we go. Hebrews chapter 8. Now, of the things which we have spoken, this is the sum. We have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle, which the Lord pitched and not man. For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices. Wherefore, it is of necessity that this man have somewhat also to offer. For if he were on earth, he should not be a priest, seeing that there are priests that are that offer gifts according to the law, who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things, as Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle. For see, saith he, that thou make all things according to the pattern shewed to thee in the mount. Hebrews chapter 8, verses 1 through 5, that contains all of your answers for the last Bible pop quiz. Some ways I would like to review the questions, but we'll just try it that way. We're going to try lots of different ways of doing reviews, lots of different ways. And of course, you can email me anytime, newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. Like the reviews, don't like the reviews, want all the questions to be read and answered. You want them at the beginning, you want it at the end. Whatever your your perspective is, please share. I mean, at some point, I'll just have to make, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to ever make a definitive decision. I may try it a lot of different ways just to always keep things from falling into just a, a, a tired, boring routine. So I'll maybe mix it up at different times, but we will see. So now, are you ready? Are you ready for the Bible pop quiz? For this Wednesday, October the 4th, 2023. Now, before we give you the Bible pop quiz, a couple of things. Tonight at Victory Baptist Church, 7 p.m., we continue our work on the tabernacle. We've started a brand new series on the tabernacle. We'll be covering that tonight at 7 p.m. You can uh, obviously listen to the broadcast after it is over. And just please note, we'll probably be working on Hebrews chapter 8. That's what inspired the Bible pop quiz on Hebrews chapter 8. And if you were listening yesterday, I think I did a devotional message on being negligent, right? On negligence. And it was taken from Proverbs 24. Well, today's Bible Bible pop quiz is all from Proverbs chapter 24. The Bible pop quiz for today, Wednesday, October the 4th, 2023. Is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 24. Now, all of these are fill in the blank. There's no open-ended questions. Sometimes on Wednesdays, I like to give you a, a more difficult one. Or sometimes on a Friday, I like to give you a more difficult one because, well, then you have the whole weekend to work on it. But, you know, there's no, there's no definitive pattern that has developed yet. But this is all fill in the blank. However, there's a lot of blanks to be filled in, a lot of missing words that you're going to have to write out. Remember, I want you to write out the question, and then when you when you then look up the answer, actually in a physical Bible, and then I want you to write out the whole thing, including the answers. That writing it, reading it, writing it again, that repetition leads to retention. Therefore, you don't just do a little Bible pop quiz. You're actually taking the Word of God 
and placing it inside of you, that's where you want it to be. All right. So are you ready? Here we go. The Bible pop quiz for Wednesday, October the 4th, 2023 is this. Here's five questions today. Question number one. Remember, these are all fill in the blank. Here we go. You ready? Number one. B. In fact, hang on. Let me look at something really quick. I want to make sure I wrote this down correctly. Hang on. I want to make sure I wrote this down cor- correctly because I don't want to start immediately and, and say something incorrect. I want to make sure I've got this. Okay, yeah, I, I, I did. I did leave. I knew something was. I saw. I knew something was wrong here. I knew something was wrong here. As soon as I read it, yeah, I left off. Left off a letter. I was like, "What is going on here?" I was like, "That makes no sense." All right, now you ready? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Your Bible pop quiz for Wednesday, October the fourth, twenty twenty three, starts with question number one. It's fill in the blank. Be not. Thou blank against blank men, neither blank to be with them. Your first question today for the Bible pop quiz comes from Proverbs chapter 24. Of course, I'm not going to give you the verses. This is where you have to skim through the chapter to find the answer. But this one is very simple. Just lots of blanks here. And and there's and some of these are going to even contain far more, right? So when you write out, you can just start writing out like, be not thou, and this, just draw a little straight line for the blank. And then you can go fill in that blank later, right? Be not thou blank against blank men, neither blank to be with them. Proverbs chapter 24. Let me give you the question again one more time. Be not thou blank against blank men, neither blank to be with them. Proverbs chapter 24. Question number two. Question number two. So that's question number one. Be not thou blank against blank men, neither blank to be with them. Proverbs 24. It's funny reading it. It's funny reading it because when you say blank, it sounds like, you know, you're, you're, you're utilizing some kind of in, uh, inappropriate language and that's not what you're trying to do. But, you know, be not thou. What is the missing word? Against what is the missing word? Men, neither. What is the missing word? To be, that just sounds, that, that, that the blank there just makes it easier to say. But all right. Hopefully you're okay with that. All right. Are you ready? Question number two. Wisdom is too blank for a blank. He openeth not his blank in the gate. Question number two for your Bible pop quiz for this Wednesday, October the 4th, 2023 is this. Wisdom is too blank. For a blank, he openeth not his blank in the gate. All right. And you're going to have to look for this. All right. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, 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 that's all perfect. It's all perfect. All right, I'll read it one more time. Number two, your second question for the Bible pop quiz for this Wednesday, October the 4th, is this. Wisdom is too blank for a blank. He openeth, he openeth not his blank in the gate. That's in Proverbs chapter 24. Number three. Number three, there's a lot of missing words in number three, all right? Number four is crazy how many missing words there are. But number three, there's a lot here. You ready? Rejoice, blank, when, blank, blank, blank. Three blanks. So rejoice, missing word, when, three missing words, blank, 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 and let not thine blank, be blank when he blank, right? There's a lot. There is one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven missing words. All right, seven missing words in this one. All right, you ready? Rejoice. There's the first missing word. Rejoice, blank. When, then there's three in a row. When blank, blank, blank. And let not thine blank be blank when he blank. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven missing words. And number three. Now, I know what you're saying. Why so many missing words? Because the more missing words you have to fill in, this is this is really what we're utilizing is kind of a technique that is used for some Bible memory programs where they'll give you the verse, but there's missing words and you got to try to fill in the words. You got to try to fill in the words. And then finally, like, they give you the whole verse blank and then you got to write it all in. This is just using that same technique because what I'm trying to do is not just have a little fun Bible pop quiz. I'm trying to get these verses, these ideas inside of you so that you retain them for a long time. All right. So ready? We're gonna, I'm going to read this one again since there's so many. Rejoice. Blank. When. Blank. 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 And let not thine blank be blank. When he. Blank. Proverb 24. Proverbs 24. All right. So question number one, be not thou blank against blank men, neither blank to be with them. Proverbs 24. Number two, and I'm not giving you the verses, obviously, because again, the goal is to get you skimming the chapter, skimming the chapter, because the more you skim it, the more well, inadvertently, not even realizing it, those words are going to ultimately st start sticking with you. And you're going to start knowing everything in these chapters that we work on here. Are you ready? Okay. So wisdom is to blank for a blank. He openeth not his blank in the gate. Number three, rejoice blank when blank, blank, blank. And let not thine blank be blank when he blank. <laughs> Proverbs 24. There's so many. The next one's even more ridiculous. The next one's even more ridiculous. All right. Are you ready? All right. But, but I'm telling you, if you'll, if you'll write these down and then fill in all of those missing uh, blanks, if you'll fill them all in and then really think about this, I mean, I'm not going to say you're going to have it memorized, but you're on, you're, you're definitely, you're, you're, you're one step closer, maybe even two steps closer to, uh, to, to accomplishing that. All right. You ready? Number four. Be not a blank, blank. Thy neighbor, blank, blank. And blank, not with blank, Blank. This one has literally one, two, three, four, five, six. This one has seven as well. All right. This one just feels like there's more, but I think the last one had seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah. So both of these have seven uh, missing words. All right. You ready? Number four for your Bible pop quiz for Wednesday, October the 4th. Here we go. Be not a, two missing words, blank, blank. Then thy neighbor, two more missing words, blank, blank. And another missing word, blank, not with, two more missing words, blank, blank. Again, in Proverbs chapter 24. Be not a, blank, blank, thy neighbor, blank, blank, and blank, not with, two more blanks, two more missing words. Then last but certainty, certainly not least, number five. Now, I got I to gotta give you a warning here, number five. Number five encompasses more than one verse, all right? Verses one, two, three, or verses one. Question one, two, three, and four, the, the answers are found inside one verse. Pro, uh, number five, again, coming from Proverbs 24, this one requires you look into two verses to be able to fill in all the missing blanks, all right? But it's all put together. Right here we go. Yet a blank blank a blank blank a 
blank, blank. So let me read that again, all right? This is just how the question begins, all right? This one requires a lot of, uh, there's a lot to write down for this one. You ready? Here we go. Yet a blank, blank. A blank, blank. A blank, blank of the hands to sleep. So shall thy blank Come as one that blank and thy want as an blank blank. All right. Oh, there. I want to do a bonus question for this one. I want to, there's a not, number five should lead to a bonus question, but trying to give the bonus question, I would end up giving away the answers to, to, to number five. And I don't want to do that, but oh, number five needs a bonus question. All right. Here we go. I may, I may, I may throw out a, 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 a paraphrase of a bonus question here, but here we go. All right. So I'm going to read them all. I'm going to read number five again. Yet a blank, blank, a blank, blank, a blank, blank of the hands to sleep. So shall thy blank come as one that blank and thy want as an blank, blank. Now I'm going to read these five again. I'm going to read these five again. And then I'm going to throw out a, a bonus question. Just a bonus question. Are right, you ready? Here we go. Number one. Be not thou blank against blank men, neither blank to be with them. Proverbs chapter 24. Number two, wisdom is too blank for a blank. He openeth not his blank in the gate. Proverbs chapter 24. Number three, rejoice blank when blank, 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 three missing words, blank, 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 and let not thine blank be blank when he blank. Proverbs chapter 24. Number four, you ready? Be not a blank, blank, thy neighbor, blank, blank, and blank not with, and then two more missing blanks, blank, blank, Proverbs chapter 24. That's be not a blank, blank, thy neighbor, blank, blank, and blank not with, blank, blank, Proverbs chapter 24. Number five, yet a, I almost, I almost, I almost gave it away there. I almost just started reciting the, ver- I almost started reciting the verse. I almost, I almost just ruined this entire Bible pop quiz. That would have been horrible. Okay. Yet a blank, blank, a blank, blank, a blank, blank. So yet a two blanks, a two blanks, a two blanks. Of the hands to sleep, so shall thy blank come as one that blank and thy want as an blank blank. Now, number five, it requires two verses to fill in all of those blanks. But the last verse that is required to answer the question in number five, if I said verse five, I apologize. Question five requires two verses found in Proverbs 24 to fill in all of those blanks. The last verse that is needed to fill in the blanks and number five, here's what I want you to do. I want you to write down a possible interpretation of that verse. It is the last verse that is required to fill in those blanks for question number five. Once you find that verse, and you and remember for all of these, you got to you got to find the verse. You gotta, obviously I've already given you the book and the chapter. You identify the verse, and then you fill in all the missing blanks. But after you fill in all the missing blanks to question number five, you're going to realize there's two verses to do so. The last verse, that last verse, that will fill in the blanks that uh, such as um, uh, come as one that blank and thy want as and blank blank. When you see that verse and you, and you read it, 
and you 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 fill in the missing blanks. I want you to take a few minutes and go exactly. What, how do I understand what that is? What is this saying? Because there's there's two things mentioned, or there's at least two things mentioned in those missing words, right? There's there I there's two two kinds of people mentioned. I I I I guess that's a good way to say it. What does what does the verse mean? Just write down. You can look up. You can look up three, four commentaries and just write down possible interpretations of what the verse is literally trying to say. What is the verse literally trying to say? All right. Let me read question number five again. Yet a blank blank, a blank blank, a blank blank of the hands to sleep. So shall thy Blank come as one that, so whatever's in that blank, so shall thy blank, whatever that is, it's going to come as one that blank and thy want as a blank blank. It's going to, it's these, these three blanks here are going to kind of describe really, I guess, two kinds of people maybe, and something is going to happen. There's, there's a correlation. There's a correspondence. There's, there's something being linked together. Just what, how do you interpret this verse? What is an interpretation? You can use your study Bible. You can use commentaries, write out two or three interpretations so that you could, like, if someone came to you and said, what does this verse mean? You could explain it to some level. That's your bonus question. That's question number six. And I have to say it that way without giving away too much. So, quickly, the Bible Pop Quiz for Wednesday, October the 4th, 2023. Six questions. Five are, are required. The sixth is a bonus, so you don't have to do it, but, you know, if you want the extra credit. All right, so here we go through them again one more time. Question number one, be not thou blank against blank men, neither blank to be with them. Proverbs 24. Number two, wisdom is too blank for a blank. He openeth not his blank in the gate. Proverbs chapter 24. Number three, rejoice blank when blank, 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 and let not thine blank be blank when he blank. Proverbs chapter 24. Number four, be not a blank, blank, thy neighbor blank, blank, and blank not with Blank, blank. Proverbs chapter 24. Number five. Yet, remember, number five requires two verses to fill in all of these blanks. Yet, A, blank, blank. A, blank, blank. A, blank, blank. Of the hands to sleep. So shall thy blank come as one that blank and thy want as and blank, blank. Your bonus question. Your bonus question. Remember. Number five, two verses are required. That last verse, I want you to try to offer an interpretation of that last verse that is required to fill in those blanks for question number five. You can use any, look up four commentaries, five commentaries, 10 commentaries. Just summarize. You can summarize everyone's answer or you can list them out. There are three possible interpretations. There's four four possible interpretations or there only seems to be one interpretation and you can write it out. There you go. All right. I hope that's beneficial. Probably <laughs> someone's going to be like, there's too many missing words. I know I, I did I probably go a little bit overboard in writing those out. I probably did. When you're writing them out, you're just like, oh, let me just, just draw a little straight line. There you go. Okay. Fill in the missing words. If it was in a book, right? If it was in a book, you would just see the missing words. You would look up the chapter. You would start skimming and fill in the missing words. But because it's audio, I have to go... I have to read part of it. And then because I'm trying to get you to write the question down, I'm trying to get you to write the question down. Then when you write out all of these missing words, you're basically writing out the verse. So you're looking at it, you're writing it, you're, you're, you're writing it down again. And then you'll hear me in a review. If I read them, then there you go. You you see how the repetition is occurring, which leads to the retention. Yeah, writing them out versus saying them is definitely it's, it's it it feels weird like when you're do, when you're doing this as a broadcast. It feels weird because like a part of me wants to just either just start filling in the blank or start teaching them or or start something, but yeah, just writing it. I'm just drawing a little straight like on my notebook. I'm just, you know, I start writing the I start writing it out. Be not thou and then I just draw a little straight line. There you go. 
against, draw a little straight line. Men, neither, draw a straight line. To be with them, uh, or, or yeah, straight line, to be with them. I mean, it's very simple. I'm just drawing a little line on the page that I can come in and write the word on it. But <laughs> when you speak it, it sounds so weird and so uh, awkward, but that's okay. Over time, it will become more. Um, it'll, it'll get better. It'll, it'll, we'll, we'll get more used to it. Right. It's probably why Bible pop quiz podcasts have not been very successful. Okay. It's probably, how do you, how, what's the best way to present the questions? But I'm, I'm going to do a lot of mixture, fill in the blank. I'm going to do an open-ended questions. I'm going to have, look up Greek and Hebrew, look up in a Bible dictionary. I'm going to try to, so that uh, it doesn't become the same kinds of questions every single time. But today it's all Proverbs 24. Go look up those answers. Think about them, meditate on them, and hopefully they will prove to be beneficial. Thank you so much for for listening. That has been your Bible Pop Quiz for this Wednesday, October the 4th, 2023. May God bless you as you search his word to find these answers. 